Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be going over how to check out your Shopify store, also to troubleshoot as when you're launching, you want to make sure that your store is working every country it loads in, on every browser it loads in, and on every device it loads in. We're going to go over how you can troubleshoot this to make sure that your store is loading okay as you've probably just been using one browser here. You're not entirely sure if everything is going to work in all your browsers, so I'm going to show you different testing methods to make sure your customers have a smooth experience. Now before I dive into it, I want to thank our sponsor profit calc the one click profit calculator available on the shopify app store it comes with a 15 day free trial and it's going to allow you to skip those spreadsheets and get back to growing your store with real-time calculations there's a link in the description below and i'm going to show a quick video detailing their full feature set are you a shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business discover profit calc the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. Let's dive into the first tool that's going to help you check if your Shopify store is loading okay. And this tool is called GT Metrics. It can mainly help with website speed, but it's going to load it. It's give you a really good idea of what's going on in your Shopify store page and if there are any blatant errors. So what you want to do is just copy and paste your URL here and click test your site. And from there, it's going to load everything. It's going to have a random test server location here. And here it's going to be using Chrome on desktop so you can see which browser is being used. So once it loads, it's going to give you a grade here on how well your store is loading. It's going to give you a ton of information on the performance, the structure of everything, the waterfall, overall a ton of metrics to look into. The great one is the waterfall here, as you'll see errors that are logged in the console. So I can see the favicon is not found as there is no favicon for this store. So I might want to go and change that there. So it's a pretty easy fix. And here you also see different screens scripts such as different Shopify apps that are loading for your store. Definitely a great one to see as when you're using your own browser, you're going to have different extensions. If you're using Chrome, different plugins, maybe you're going to be on a different VPN or something like that. And that's going to create issues when loading your content as it could interfere and you're not gonna see exactly what the customer is seeing. Next tool you can use is a tool called Pingdom. Again, it's gonna be the same thing, except you're gonna get the option to select which server to test from. You can choose Asia, Europe, North America, South America, and so on. I'm gonna put Germany Frankfurt here and then click start that test. While this is loading, there is another site here called Browserling. It's gonna allow you to test from different Windows browsers. I can select Windows 10 and select the different browsers on a Windows system. Let's say I wanna test in Internet Explorer. I can click test now once I put in my URL and that's gonna give me information based on the specific browser. So let's head back to Pingdom here. We can see it is loaded and you're gonna get very similar information as GT metrics, such as the load time, page size, as well as the different content. Now, apart from these tools, you can go manually and test it. So you can open up your phone, maybe open up Safari, Chrome, Brave, any of those browsers. You can do the same thing on your desktop to see how things are loading and to make sure everything is loading okay. Now, along with that, there is a great way here to check what your customers are actually seeing. And that's going to be to use an app such as Replay, Site Recorder, and Surveys available on the Shopify App Store. It'll give you details such as a heat map as well as screen recording so you can see exactly what the customer is doing on their end. So you can track every action your visitors perform in your site to improve their shopping experience and boost conversions. So that can be super helpful as it can be time consuming and you might miss a browser if you're doing it manually. And they do have a completely free plan with 100 unique visitors per month. Currently, there are quite a few other tools that do the same thing such as Lucky Orange, vitals and session recording and replays by propel commerce so this is going to conclude the video here on your shopify store checker as well as troubleshooter we went over several different tools i'll leave the links in the description to them that you can use to check how your website is loading to make sure there are no blatant errors here in the example for the test store, we can see things such as the favicon is not loading correctly so that's an idea and an easy fix there there's also the manual way and lastly, there is going to be different apps that give you session recording. They're available on the Shopify app store. That's going to give you an idea of what customers are actually seeing on their end, which can be really good insight. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you haven't yet, check out ProfitCalc, our sponsor to this video. It's going to allow you to have one-click profit calculations so you can skip those spreadsheets and get back to growing your store. There's a link in the description below to access a 15-day free trial. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.